Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle and removing the rear wheels. For additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Make sure that the parking brake lever is in the off or down position and that the vehicle is in neutral. The parking brake handle cannot be adjusted as it's self-adjusting. Push the brake pads back a little into the caliper to help turn the rotor. You want to rotate the rotor until you can see the adjustment fixture, green arrow. Using a flathead screwdriver, insert it through the bore, green arrow, and move the adjustment device until the wheel can no longer be turned and then turn the adjuster completely in the other direction. This will retract the pads to the maximum position. Repeat this procedure on both rear rotors. Open the center console armrest and using a trim removal tool, remove the rubber cover on the bottom, blue arrow. Use a T20 torque and remove the screws holding the plate in. Lift the plate or plates out. Using a small pry bar, lever back on the adjuster, red arrow, and pull the parking brake cable out from the adjuster, blue arrow. Pull the parking brake cable back out from the hard line in the tunnel to take the stress off of the brake pads. Remove the caliper and safely hang it up out of the way. For additional assistance with that task, again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Remove the rotor. If the rotor is stuck, you can give it some light taps with a rubber mallet on the bell of the rotor, blue arrow. If it is hung up on a brake pad, try loosening the adjuster again. This image shows the adjustment mechanism, red arrow. Here you can see the spreading lever at the end of the parking brake cable, red arrow. You are going to be removing and reinstalling both of the retaining springs on the brake pads. This job can be incredibly frustrating if you don't have the right tool. Do yourself a huge favor and buy or borrow a brake pad spring compression tool. It makes the job simple and safe. Remove both springs by pressing them in all the way to the pads and turning them 90 degrees, red arrows. With the spring removed, you can see the hook, red arrow, that must go through the pads, green arrow, and hook onto the wheel carrier. With the springs removed, remove the adjustment wheel. Remove the spring from the adjustment wheel side, indicated by the red arrow. Slip the other spring out from the spreader lever side and remove the pads from the spreader. Take note of the pad orientation as openings in the pad for the springs must go back in the same direction. Lightly grease the pivot pin, red arrow, on the spreader lever. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure that the springs are securely connected to the wheel carrier by visually inspecting the upper spring and feeling for the lower spring connection. Then please see our article and video on parking brake adjustment for additional assistance by following the link provided at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.